Welcome to Art Bites from the Marina Chrysler Beach Museum of Art. I am Madeline Molinex, the summer intern, and today I will be talking about two textile works by the artist Janet Kumerlin. The first one is um, called Spring Green and is currently on display at the Prairie View in the Prairie View show. And her other work that I will be talking about is called Sand Swept that will be on display for the second wave feminist movement in August. Janet Kumerlin was born in 1932 in Detroit, Michigan, where she grew up and attended the College of Creative Studies in Detroit, studying painting. She then went and studied sculpture and metal smithing at the Cranbrook Academy of Art. After completing her studies, she moved to Kansas City with her family in 1959. Soon after moving, her husband passed away, leaving her to be the sole caregiver of four young children. Kumalin never thought about doing a different career other than art, stating as she has always been an artist since kindergarten, and she had no reason to think that being an artist would be impractical. Since she was working from home, she transitioned her work to textiles from painting due to the harmful chemicals that were used to clean the paintbrushes. In the early 60s, Kumalin attended an exhibited work in the Fiber as Medium International Exhibition in Southern California, which spotlighted fiber as an art medium. While at the exhibition meeting, she met other artists that reinforced her beliefs that she could be a successful artist. She soon, soon was approached by businesses to commission works that soon progressively grew larger in scale, resulting in her largest work um, that is in Anchorage, Alaska Municipal Library that ended up being 50 feet long was built in 11 sections and took 16 hours to install due to having navigating the scaffolding around the tables and bookshelves. Along with her textile work, she has created a series of female jazz artists um, for the American Jazz Museum with her goal to create 12 individual paintings. Spring Green was completed in 1975 and is made of thread, multiple types of fabric, and different variations of yarn. The work measures 34 inches by 63 inches, with the thickest section measuring to be 4 inches. Kumerlin explores texture through the multiple ways she uses the yarn and fabric. In the lower right-hand section, she goes over the fabric multiple times, stitching it to create depth and contrast with the texture of unsewn fabric coming forward and the stitched areas being pushed back, creating colorful line work while also giving the work depth. She creates contrast through the application of the yarn she uses by the thickness of the different types and through the braiding and creating widening sections. In contrast, Sand Swept, that was created in 1978, uses coarser types of yarn like twine to create a more weathered appearance. The majority of the work is yarn, with there being the thick white yarn that connects both the works Spring Green and Sand Swept together. In Sand Swept, it appears Kumulin explores the more manipulation of the yarn by braiding, draping, and tacking the yarn down in a looser fashion, with a good portion of the braided sections only being sewn in two areas, allowing for these sections to loosely drape and stand out in the foreground, creating depth in that invites the viewer to further examine the work. The center section stands as the focal point of the work, as it has been manipulated to jut forward and connect at the bottom with loosely connected braids draping in front of it. And that creates the foreground. And if you're peering past it, we'll see yarn tacked down loosely, inviting the viewer to peer past the braids to see what lies in the background. If you're interested in seeing these works of Janet Kumerlein's, visit the Beach Museum and the Second Wave Feminist Show that will be showing in August.